Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to work with parted command in RHEL 8. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is parted command and why we used in Linux environment. So there are different options to create or manage partition under Linux environment and parted is one of them. It is a famous command line tool to uh, that allow you to easily manage hard disk partition. It can help you add it, delete, shrink and extend disk partition along with the file system located on them. Parted has gone a long way from when it first came out. So in this video I will show you how to use Parted command on Linux systems. Okay, so let's begin the lab session. Guys, this is my Linux terminal and uh, currently, uh, currently I am working on RHEL 8 machine. So let's start. First of all, I will show you the OS release version of this machine. So I can go with cat etc OS release. You can see that currently I'm working on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. So we have to follow a few steps to create a partition on parted command. First step is list partition. Before making any changes, list available storage device in partition. This action helps identify the storage device you want to partition. Okay, so command is parted hyphen L, L for listing. So the terminal print terminal print out available storage device with the information about uh, first one is a model what uh, model of storage device we have like ATA, SATA hard drive and DIX. DIX means name and the size of DIX. So you can see that uh, here I have a Dave SDA approx 26 GB and another way we have one more hard disk that is Dave SDB which is approx 21 GB. Now third one that is a sector size. So sector size means logical and physical size of memory not to be confused with available disk space. Third one is a partition table. This one. So partition table uh, have we have different types of partition table like MS-DOS, GPT, BSD and many more. Dix flag. In the next field is Dix flag. In Dix flag we have partition with information on partition number, size, type, file system and flags. So here you can see that there are two storage devices available like Dave SDA this one and Dave SDB this one. So now move to the next step which is select Dix and assign the partition table. So partition table is allocated at the start of the hard drive and it is stored data about the size and location of each partition. So like earlier I told you we have many types of partition like MS-DOS, GPT, BS, loop and many more. So for assigning the partition table we have to run a command like mklabel command. Okay, so first of all I am going with the parted command and then we select the hard drive. So I started with parted, press enter. Now here we have to specify the storage device. If we don't do that, the disk is randomly selected. So for the select the disk, we have to uh, we have a command select. I said select and your device, hard disk device. In my case, I'm going with SDB. I'm going to select SDB. Okay. Now Dave SDB is open to assign the partition table on this. Uh, I go with another command that is MK label command. So I go with MK label and define the partition table. So I'm going with the uh, MS DOS. So I go with MS DOS. Now I press enter. Okay. And now check the table type. We can run print command. So I run the command print and press enter. See, uh, you can see it is showing me MS DOS is successfully assigned to Dave SDB. Now move to the next step which is create the partition. So because we have approx 20 GB, look at that, approx 21.5 GB space in our hand. So let's create 5 GB partition with XFS file system. So first of all, I'll set the unit in GB mode, which is easy to read and understand. So I go with unit and type GB, gigabyte. Okay, now for create the partition, I use MK part command. So I go with MK part, make partition, MK part, press enter. So select the partition type. So I go with primary one. Okay, now uh, file system type because it is RAM 8 machine. So I go with XFS file system. Otherwise you can assign ext 3 or ext 4 as your choice. So I go with XFS file system. Okay, then uh, I have to give the start size because till now no partition space allocated on this disk. So I start with uh, 0, 0.0, 0. And uh, end size, and end size I define or I type 5 GB. Okay, 5 GB. Okay, great. Uh, now finally run the print command to verify everything. So I say print and let's see. Look at that. 
uh, you can see the 5GB primary partition is successfully created with XFS file system and uh, with the flag that is LBA. So LBA means logical block addressing which is a new form of hard disk addressing. Okay and the partition number is 1. So now uh, we have to save and quit from here and for this we have a command quit command. So once I press quit change our save automatically with this command. Now we got the message you may need to update slash it is a step file. This means this means a kind of signal that the partition can be mounted automatically at the boot time. So alternative alternative we have another method we can create a new partition using single parted command also. So now I'm going to make one more partition a second partition uh, of the size of 8 GB using single parted command. So let's see I say parted and select the hard drive dev as db and uh, run the mk part command then select the partition type I said uh, partition type is primary and go with the file system in my case xfs and start from 5 GB and go on 13 GB so approximately it's a 8 GB of partition okay so now I press enter again I got the message you may need to update slash it is a stuff file if you wanna uh, mount it permanently okay so guys uh, let's check the free space on available disks so check the free space we have a command parted dev sda or sdb whatever in my case it's a sdb unit uh, unit is gb print free so look at that yeah you can see that we have successfully created two partition first one is a 5 gb this one and this is the primary partition and second one is a 8 gb size of 8 gb it is also a primary partition and approx we have 8.4 gb free space available in this hard drive so now move to the next step which is format newly created partition so once the partition is created it acquires the suffix number like 1 and 2 look at that here it is number 1 and 2 uh, which means like dev as db1 or dev as db2 so we need to format and mount the partition so that we can interact with it so for format the file system a partition we have a command mkfs command make file system mkfs mkfs and the partition name so mkfs dot xfs because i'm using xfs file system so i mentioned xfs otherwise you can go with ext2 ext3 ext4 so mkfs they select the hard drive sdb sdb1 okay successfully formatted again with for sdb2 second one now move to the next step which is mount the partition with mount command so mounting uh, so for the mounting purpose we required a mount point from where we can access the partition so i just make a uh, directory name first and uh, one more in slash second okay so here slash first and slash second is my mount point now we can mount the partition using the mount command so i run the command mount hyphen t define the type in my case i said go with auto mount auto type select the auto type dev sdb1 where you want to mount it i want to mount it on first okay in a similar way go with sdb2 and replace first type second great here we have uh, here we have to note one thing which is if terminal doesn't print out any output it means commands are executed successfully so even we have mount command to check the mount status so i can go with the mount space pipe grab select the dev sdb1 uh, look at that it is mounted similarly with sdb2 okay it's mounted successfully even we have we can also verify the partition is mounted or not by df capital th command that is traditional one command dix free uh, command even this command report the file system dix uses also so you can see that uh, both partition is mounted on the given location dev sdb is on first and dev sdb2 is on second and uh, uh, and the size is showing approx 2% is used and available is 4.6 and 7.4 but guys remember uh, you have to remember this is the temporary mounting if you want to make it permanent mounting what we have to do we have to put up the entry in slash etc of step file okay which i'm not going to cover in this uh, session we will cover in uh, another session so here i'm focusing on the parted command not for the uh, etc of step file contained or mounting or permanent mounting okay so now we can go to the mount location and use this partition space so how can i do that i move to the first directory and try to make some blank file let's verify it it works or not so file 1 to 10 dot txt let's check okay successfully done move to the similar way in the second partition 
and again create some files blank file so this time I say uh, go with 11 to 20 11 to 20 okay let's check yeah it's created successfully no issue no problem okay now uh, we will move the la, we will move to the our last step which is how to unmount and remove this partition so for removing this partition firstly what we have to do we have to unmount the partition and then remove it from the parted command so what we have to do we have to first of all unmount so go with the unmount command unmount i am on the uh, i am in my current directory location if i move in the first directory and try to unmount it give me error so it is very important it is very uh, you can say it is a uh, keep in mind that a uh, target should uh, should be free it is not be used so first of all i go back on my home location and now here i am using unmount first great similarly unmount second great now it is successfully unmounted now go to the parted command for remove the partition so i go one more time parted p a r t e d select my hard drive that is sdb and press uh, first of all run the print command okay here it is now for remove the partition use rm command rm and press enter what partition number you want to remove i said two number okay again verify through print command yes is remove again with rm again the partition number this time one okay let's verify one more time print it's successfully removed and good from there so now we can see that we have successfully removed partition from dev sdb and uh, if i go with the parted minus l command you can just see the output uh, the partition is removed all partitions removed from dev sdb hard drive so guys this is how we can work with the parted command in rel 8 and finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic then i'll keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more update if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channels and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye